Okay, um, guys, uh, I'm going to make a little short video here about how I depopulate boards like this is through holes. That means that everything goes through the board. It's not something that you can use a sand bath with. Um, it's just too, uh, too much effort into it. It burns the board up. You can't really get everything out of it. So, uh, what I do is I use a mechanical means it's an air hammer um i took the chisel it's a flat this is a flat three quarter inch and i cut it beveled further on one side than the other so that it's uh it'll cut smooth on one side and kind of dig in on the other side um these boards here's the chips that comes off of these boards i i removed these first because these were surface mounted chips and I had planned on uh, processing these separately, but I think I'm just going to do them all at the same time. So, uh, I'm going to show you. This is kind of slow, but it, it's a lot better. It's a lot better than the sand bath on this stuff. So let's, let's cut some of this stuff off. Now, you can see that uh, even though it's a little slower than the sand bath is on other stuff, if you were trying to cut this by hand, it would really be a hard thing to do. And this makes it a lot easier. And this works with these kind of boards. Um, it works with uh, peripheral cards. Um, most of this is surface mounted stuff. Uh, but it, I mean, if you if you don't want to break out the old sand bath. These are not gold plated at all. There's no PMs in those. There's some uh, pins inside these connectors on this end. Um, now I've got this turned down. I got it regulated down to uh, 20 psi. Of course, it could run a lot more than that. Now at 20 psi, it it, you have to put it up against something kind of push on it to get this uh to get these pins off. I think it's because the steel is just soldered into the board. If it were just pins, it would be a lot easier. Um, I really don't like doing this with these. I like the sand bath better with these kind. But uh, like I said, 
Now, like I said before, uh, if you don't want to break out the old sand bath, um, if you're already ready to go with this, and it works just as well with uh, logic boards. Now with these, you don't have to uh, worry about losing your uh, your other components like uh, like your ceramic capacitors. These things right here. So you're able to uh, separate these out and keep these because these things here has a high percentage of uh, palladium and silver. Um, they're uh, they're uh, all over these boards. You know, you can see them all along these lines. If you heat this and you knock it off like this, the solder will fall off, and it solder fouls these components. You can't get them out of the solder. It's a it's just a lot of trouble. So. Uh, In my opinion, cutting them is uh, is much much easier, much better. Um, of course, again with the pins, same thing as what I was talking about earlier. Uh, you really have to push against this thing. because I've got the air turned down on it. But uh, it's not so hard, they pop right off. And uh, if you was really determined and you want it to really stay at it, you could go through a big pile of these things in a day's time. It works pretty good with memory too. You want to get that memory? Just skins it right up. Uh, so anyway, this is this is an air hammer. Um, it's a it's a manual type removing depopulating components. Uh, shown to me by a friend of mine. Uh, and I've tried it I like it uh, if you don't have one and you're going to do this any length of time I suggest you find one uh, I've got my got my setup with a redneck way uh, I've got two different air reserve tanks one compressor and I've got it regulated down to 20 psi I can run this continuously for about 45 minutes before I have to stop, let the system pressurize, and then I can go back at it. But by then, it's time to take a break anyway. I'm not on any, anyone's clock but my own. But uh, that's it for this, guys.